How's it going, lads? Phil Potter here, and welcome to the second episode of Road to a Better Bollocks FC. Now, as you can see, we're picking up a few French signings here. I'll leave all the new signings in the description below if you want to have a closer look. But anyway, before we dip our family jewels into today's episode, if you're looking for some extremely cheap Ultra Batin coins, PSN codes, Microsoft points, any of that good stuff, then make sure you check out the gamekeys.co.uk. Their link will be in the description. And if you use the discount code Phil, you get a further 5% off. But it's time to introduce that man once again. Take it away, Dikembe. Not in my heart. <laughs> now some of you may know this because I, I retweeted on Twitter but Dikembe Mutombo replied to me the legend that is Dikembe replied to me on Twitter and he goes yes I am in London <laughs> that's probably the best impersonation of, of him I've done yet it's very hard to do an impression of him let's be honest but anyway we do win a penalty and it's a super save from Petr Cech so it's the keepers are the main highlights of the first half but uh, I was like you know what? I'm going to change that you know and Look at this beautiful bit of footwork for Antoine Griezmann. Super stuff to win the free kick. And, you know, Johan Kaboy is one of these players who I like to say, he oozes class, you know. And look at him pick out Griezmann here. But it falls to Marquez Lugo. He's not even one of my French lads, you know. Uh, and he scores a pretty shit goal in the end. But if there's one man who's going to score a header against you, it is this man right here. It's Ben Teke, for fuck's sake. But it's time to introduce that man once again. Take it away, Dikembe. Not today. <laughs> Never today. <laughs> what the fuck is that meant to be? But that was it for the game. We finished one all. And to be completely honest with you, it's been a terrible start to Division 10. I was expecting to win every single game in this division, no problem. But it just hasn't gone that way. You know, I'll just put it down to complacency, all right? Uh, no, I'm actually struggling to change over to the PS4. But anyway, Paye here. We buy him to add a bit of, you know, to make our attack look a little bit more impressive, a little bit more dangerous. It's like adding like two, two inches onto your willy, you know? You're gonna look more impressive and more dangerous <laughs> uh, i have no idea what i'm talking about but before i play before i play another person online i decided to play uh, uh, the team of the week challenge again just to kind of improve my team a little bit but look at that nutmeg from uh, oh god what's his name again hang on gope finepe Oh, Jesus, I haven't got a clue what his name is, but it was a, a lovely bit of stuff there. I thought you'd like to see the replay. Marcus Lugo has a left foot on him, I have to say. Unfortunately, I don't need him in the squad. Uh, now, before I continue on, I suppose, if you want a face cam for the next video, the next episode of this Road to a Better Bollocks FC, leave a comment below, or leave a like, actually. If we could hit 600 likes, I would be so happy. We smashed it yesterday. I, didn't, I only asked for 500, so you lads are complete legends, you know. I just wanted to say that. Now, we buy the Abbey here. Completely overpaid for him, considering I'm struggling for coins at the start of this series. To overpay probably by 200 coins, well, that is that is a bad decision, but he's a good player, so it's just like, ah, fair enough. But we're up to 67 chemistry now, and the next team we come up against here is a 100 chem Bundesliga side. Look at this. He's got Blaszczykowski, Aubameyang, Elia, a lot of pace in there, you know, and I shit myself a little bit, but look at this for a move from my Frenchies. They are class. Have a look at this for Antoine Griezmann. Oh my god, the swerve is actually absolutely beautiful. And it's time to have a look at a replay here, right? Oh, look at this. Absolutely spectacular. I must hand it to EA. The, the replays they have are absolutely beautiful. Now look at this bullshit. Everyone's just fucking their bodies at the ball. Look, it's like a brothel. They're all fucking their bodies at a ball. <laughs> oh god. Uh, and I look at this for a tackle from Diaby. Oh, I love the slow motion on tackles because if there's one thing I like, it's a big dirty tackle, you know. Uh, so it's one all at half time. It's an even enough game once again. But it's time to separate the men from the boys. And we do this by putting it together a beautiful pass move. Lovely ball from Kaboy into Griezmann. And Griezmann's really stepping up. He's holding our team together at the moment and he scores a beautiful goal. Now, uh, there's nothing nicer than looking at this beautiful scenery after you win a game. I was standing there, I had my jocks around my ankles and I was doing the windmill with me willy like you do <laughs> after a victory at FIFA. Uh, but anyway, we got we got the points on the board and that's the main thing. I decided to buy Yang at Mbiwa uh, for a couple of reasons. One, because he's cheap as fuck. Uh, two, because he is a dirty box who will put in a dirty tackle like he did on Hasri the other week. Uh, so that's the reason I bought him, you know. Now we come up against a guy who's got a pretty shite looking team to be honest with you. Uh, but look at me, I was asleep in the first 10 minutes here and I gifted him a corner. And from this corner, have a look at this. It's time to introduce that man once again. Take it away, Carl. Bullshit. Oh shit is right, when that ball went over the line, I said, okay, I'm in business now. So I pulled up my jocks and I stopped windmilling my willy, of course, you know. I, no, I don't, I don't actually do that, lads. 
Uh, only uh, only when I get out of the shower, you know. <laughs> but uh, Jabria C said they had a decent enough effort before half time. Now, this guy was a lot better than I thought he would be. When I saw the team, I was like, easy win, no problem. Uh, but he was really good at holding on to possession. It was tough to get the ball back off him, you know. But a lovely switch ball from Kabaya there a second ago. And Paye with a beautiful scoop turn. And we hit the post again. Now, if, if we were just a little bit luckier, we would be 2 1 up at this stage. But straight after that, he breaks through and makes it 2 0. And I was like, oh, bollocks, I'm going to lose another game here, you know. Uh, so I wasn't wasn't too happy, but it's time to introduce Martin. Here we go. Sweaty. Oh, so, oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, no, he probably should have gone 3-0 up here. Look at this. Jesus Christ, I think I need to buy a new keeper. What I, I need to buy a new striker, a new keeper, a left back and uh, Ben Arfa. Now, look at this. I just If you were to give me a bathtub full of fannies in this game, I would not have been able to score, you know? It was just absolutely pathetic. So we lose 2-0, and Jesus Christ, we're starting to... Am I going to get promoted at all at this stage? You know, it's not looking good uh, in Division 10. Jesus, absolutely terrible start. But we pick up Fanny. Uh, now, no dirty jokes, lads, all right? We pick up Fanny. Let's be mature here. Uh, and we come up against a team here, which... Has terrible chemistry, to be honest with you, but he's got some decent players in there. And Paye scores his first goal for the club with a beautiful little chip. The way the ball floats into the net there is absolutely class looking, you know. But uh, soon enough after that, he breaks through and scores a shite goal. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just angry that you scored. It wasn't that shot. It was a nice little finish, you know. But uh, some lovely pressure here. It gives us a chance. Gibriel Cece hasn't scored for me yet, I don't think. And Kaboy slots it away. Uh, so it's a nice, nice little goal there. Well, no, I, what am I talking about? That's just habit it was an absolutely filthy ugly goal but <laughs> Anton Griezmann he has this ability to just get by players you know lovely bit of stuff here across the pie and he nearly scores a scissors kick that would have been it would have been a very nice goal and it would have put us in a good position just before half time but unfortunately it didn't put us in that good a position but we're, we're still winning we got more possession he's had more shots but I love doing this drilling a, a, a shot across and hopefully you know score and I haven't scored from it yet but it's always dangerous and you get a corner a lot of the times out of it. But look at this. Oh my God, what is going on here? There's something about uh, FIFA on this, on the PS4, where the physics or something, they knock into each other, they fall over too easily. There's something about it that's not quite right, but it's still, it's still really good, I have to say. But we get in a lovely tackle there with Fanny. And look at this bullshit. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. When he scored that, I was like, ah, Jesus Christ, come on. I was playing better than him. The, like, the, the last game, your man was good. I, I put my hands up there, but that uh, this was just bullshit, you know. But we break through with Cissé, and it's an absolutely terrible effort. Uh, I don't know what is happening to me, you know. I'm absolutely crap. But a lovely tackle there from, I'm not quite sure who, Mex says, I think it was, and Paye, look at this. Oh, in the 90th minute, he is our saviour. And look at this replay here. It's absolutely class. I love the little motion blur they have in the replays. It makes it that little bit sexier, you know. But that's it for today's episode. I'll hopefully get a face cam out here for episode three. And, uh, yeah, we've got eight points on the board. It's not very good. <laughs> but, you know, sure, what can you do? I, I, I will I will get promoted, I promise you. If I don't get promoted, I swear to God, lads, I'm giving up. <laughs> you know, it's an absolute disgrace. But uh, that's it for today's episode. If you have enjoyed, do leave a like. It helps me out so much. And just, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one, lads. Talk to you later.